Hey, what's going on guys? Um, it's been a minute, over a week and a half with no jobs. So right now we're actually, we finally got a call from another bank. Here's a look at that bank job we're bidding on right now. They had a tree fall over because of the snowstorm and the city was going to make them clean it up. So I'm just taking a look at it really quick, wasting some gas. Um, but we did actually end up getting this job, but they took a week to get back to us. Okay guys, we're checking this 2011 F-250 6.2 gas truck out. The, he said there were some brake issues, but I'm not gonna lie, this thing kind of feels like a POS. It just doesn't feel like it drives or shifts super great. And I haven't even got it up to speed to shift it hard, but I don't know. And I, I hear a lot of noises. It doesn't feel right when I push down. Yeah, I hear something strange. Okay guys, needless to say, we did not buy this truck. I just want to go over a few things because it's been so long and this footage is kind of old. So we actually got a ton of calls and leads. I would say we got at least 10 leads over the last week and a half or two weeks. Um, I was testing Facebook ads and whatever we put out in the beginning worked. I only had a budget of $50 and we ended up getting like, like something crazy like five leads or something like that. And then I boosted it again with another $100 and we didn't get that many leads. And a lot of them were crappy message leads, but we did get some calls and we did get like two or three people on the books. One scheduled by themselves online. We had a couple calls and then guys, for whatever reason, they flaked. They canceled. They requested the cancel. I have no idea why. Um, and then on top of that, we were putting out yard signs all week, had at least two on the schedule, they canceled again. So I think it's just the luck of the draw. That just means more people aren't going to cancel in the future, probably. But yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Um, luckily, after this whole situation, we did go back and finally do that tree job because he reached back out to us a week later. I didn't get that much footage of the job, so here are some awesome pictures I got of it that I posted on social media. Um, but yeah, guys, we did this job for $540. We basically got to that price by doing our full load price and then adding some labor. And $540, it ended up, yeah, it was definitely worth it. You could have been a little more, a little less, but let me know what you would have charged. $540, our profit was a little over $300. All right, guys, we're having truck problems. It's the brake. Engine and transmission-wise, we're good, but the e-brake is fucked up. It's stuck on, it keeps coming on without pushing that thing down. But look, check this out. Need brakes? Yes. Hey guys, I feel so blessed. It broke down in front of an auto parts store. The guy told us what it is. He said it was the brakes. Then there was a brake sign right by it, and like a, a, a number to call a brake specialist right by it who's cheaper than any mechanic. Hopefully he's good, we'll see. And then guess what? We are 500 feet away from a U-Haul, so I'm just gonna rent one of these fuckers, tow my trailer home, and then see what else I can do. Okay guys, we got the U-Haul. They didn't have any trucks or regular pickup trucks, so we're using the box truck, but it'll tow fine. It has tow mode, which I need to turn off. There we go. Hey, we have the car guy coming out tomorrow. We're gonna get everything home today and hopefully I can still make it to work in time. But I'm not sure, wish me luck guys. All right guys, that was hectic, but it's dealt with now. We towed our truck with our insurance, then towed our trailer with the U-Haul, then returned the U-Haul and dropped off the truck keys to the tow guy and then from there our phone died and it has trouble charging and i didn't want to spend any more money so from there we walked home but we're all good now okay the good news is we should be back up and running by monday i should be all in like only about 500 which yeah that's a, i mean that's a lot of money but i've spent 
if you watch my previous videos, I've spent like a thousand dollars for a mechanic to fix some little stupid shit and it not to be fixed. But yeah, this guy, yeah, I like him a lot. It's just a small local guy, a hustler. He's kind of like me, you know. Hey guys, so we're gonna wrap this video up with some footage of some other jobs. So the second week of February, we did manage to get a few more jobs. So this first one you're looking at, we did for 130 and then we added stuff from the property where we keep our trailer. Then we did this tree job for 190 and then we had one more that I don't have footage of for 400 and it was a full load. Um, so yeah, um, the 130, that's fine for the fourth of load. The 190 for this trailer full of sticks, I mean, we were kind of just helping the guy out and we had another job scheduled. We kind of just wanted the job, but we were trying to get more. Um, we haggled a little bit, but 190s just so we could get it and then head to the next job. So we actually finally did get some sales, but nothing major. And um, I know this video was short, but let me know what you guys would do if you're in my situation, especially if you're a bigger guy. Let me know. I only have a few grand saved up. I keep having truck issues. Um, I don't know what I should do marketing wise. I don't know. Just give me your advice guys. But yeah, thanks for watching guys I know I haven't uploaded it in a while and it's cuz what we're going through with the business um, But this video was recorded a while ago and don't worry guys things are finally starting to pick up I got more videos headed your way and thanks for watching like subscribe. Give me advice. Tell me what you think and uh, thanks